Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Kevin Thornton. And I'm Mark Johnson. Welcome to Sports Wrap. Tonight, we're going to talk uh, NBA playoffs uh, with Kevin, and we're going to have open uh, phone line. Unless I say line, not lines. We only have one phone line. Uh, but before we get started, uh, one of our uh, crew members, I'm not sure of his last name, Todd is his first name. Hilton. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Hilton. That's Todd Hilton. Awesome. Uh, has written a new theme song for Sports Rap, and we want to listen to that now, and we'll see how you folks like it, and you'll be able to uh, call in and comment on that also. So, uh, JJ, let's, uh, let's hear the new theme. Slam dunk, boom, the bass pumps hard when it's made by Todd. So don't drop your gogs, we'll talk about sports over the phone at home. For you couch potatoes, wear it out foam. Then we get a Mark J and the K, giving you the play-by-play. -play. On B-Ball or any ball, you make the call, y'all. Live in Channel 9, speak your mind, cause it's about time for the sports rap. I love it. I love it. Um, call in. Let's make me think about that. Uh, before we go uh, too much further, I'm going to, uh, last week we talked a little bit about Jake O'Donnell. And we asked the question, should Jake O'Donnell be banned from officiating all Blazer games uh, since he has openly stated that he does not like the Blazers? We got a lot of response on that, Kevin. The final uh, tally was 10 to 5 in favor of banning this guy and throwing him out of the league for good. Uh, I was happy to see that response. Um, I, I think it shows a lot of <laughs> a lot of smarts on a lot of uh, on the part of a lot of people out there. On a few of them. Oh yeah. Uh, of course, we did get those people to say that uh, Jake O'Donnell should referee any game, but uh, yeah, these like you say, these are people that still think Trojan's safe. So right. Which I'm one, of the, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, question two was: Do you think the Winter Hawks will win the Memorial Cup? Uh, a nine to two vote uh, in favor of them winning the Memorial Cup. Uh, it's good to see that they're up two games to one right now, Kev. Yeah, they, they uh, they're coming home for three games now. Yeah, the first game they played up in Swift Current, uh, they won. I think it was seven to six, and then uh, two nights later they played again in uh, Swift Current and got their butts kicked. <laughs> that's that's proverbial saying. Uh, yeah, they lost uh, six to three. Uh, one thing I found out about Swift Current: once they get on a roll in a game. They are unstoppable. They'll go all the way with it. But with the series, in in the series, I see uh, Portland Winterhawks coming out on top. I think so. Hey, they took two out of three games from them up there in right. Swift Current, and right. they're coming down here for three. So there's a good shot at uh, winning two of those three and being the uh, Memorial Cup champions. Third question. This was kind of an unofficial one. Uh, <laughs> it was our first week, with our first show with the desk. We asked people if they liked the desk or not. Nine people said yes, four people said no, therefore we keep the desk. And half of those that said they did like it or didn't like it said it looked like it came out of somebody's garage, yeah. which it didn't. Right. I had this made by a professional. Okay. That's old business. Now we're going to get on to new business. Uh, I told you last week I was going to bring some Shaquille O'Neal cards that I got at the card show last week. And, and we're going to show a few of those now. I'm not going to show them all right now, but if we can get some close-ups on them, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can get some close-ups with uh, camera two maybe. Or camera one. I don't care which one. It doesn't doesn't matter to me. Whichever one you guys want to go with. Which camera are we on? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm one of them. I think camera one's going to try and get it though, because camera two is on us right now. That, well, well, there we that, go. That is the uh, trade card that you send in for uh, through Upper Deck. The card that you send in to get that if we can get a close up of that, is that card. And once you send it in, they send it back with a hole punched in it right there. You send it in, you get that one back. And this is going to look like a double take here. This one that I'm holding up here is uh, card number one in the Upper Deck Series. This card you can only get in Upper Deck Series 2 packs. This other one, which looks identical, is the one you send in for. So there is number one, number 1A, one which is that one, and number 1B. So I think you're thoroughly confused now. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, I got a few other cards. We'll show those throughout the show. But uh, do we have a phone call? 
No, no. I don't have a phone call. Anyway. Did you uh, get a chance to see the NASCAR race today? I did not get a chance. I had to work today, Ken. Oh. Well, I'm one of those fortunate, unfortunate few who had to work today. So. Bernie Irvin came out on top winning the uh, Winston Cup 500 today. Took on the li uh, <coughs> They had a rain delay with five laps to go. And uh, um, right right when they, when they restarted the race, uh, they had two laps to go. And uh, Dale Earnhardt was leading. Uh, apparently, Ernie Irving and Rusty Wallace come up behind uh, behind Dale Earnhardt, and something happened, and Rusty Wallace ended up rolling his car across the finish line, flipping it nine times in the air, come out of it with a broken wrist and uh, some bruised ribs. I'll tell you and, what, uh, uh, he's he's lucky he's not dead. Very lucky, uh, very lucky. You know, I, I was I was showing my nephews the after right after the the accident, the uh, the car. And there is no outer shell left on the no. car whatsoever, but the roll cage is perfectly intact. Okay. I'm being told we have a phone call. Is the caller there? Yes, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, right. I've got two comments. Okay. One about your song. Uh, I don't think it really fits in with your uh, show. Okay. But, so. uh, you know, to each his own, I guess. And uh, another thing on the Jake O'Donnell, you know, I'm a big Blazer fan. I always have been. And, uh, the Blazers, if they're going to win, they're going to win if Jake O'Donnell's refing or not. I mean, they've got the talent. They've got Drexler and Strickland and whatever. One ref is not going to make a difference in a win or a loss. I mean, you know, he may he may make a bad call and cost him a couple points, but Jake O'Donnell is not going to make a difference. And if the Blazers win, uh, win a playoff series or not, they've just got too much talent, too much playoff experience to lose just because of Jake O'Donnell. I agree. I agree fully with you. Um... But Jake well, O'Donnell just makes it a little harder for him. Yeah, he makes he makes bad calls at, at in inopportune times of the game. I think is where that that hurt you. I mean, it's like if you're getting if you're, if you're the Blazers and you're on like a ten to nothing run or something, and all of a sudden he calls some really stupid call that affects you mentally, and then the other team runs off eight or ten points in a row. You know. Can you, I mean, can you it's enough, to, it's it's enough, enough that to it could cause a, it could cause the loss of a championship. Yeah, right. The Blazers, they've been accused of being a dumb team, and I think a lot of that word is is they let the refs uh, get to them, get to them, and react. You know, and they really do, and make them. You know, where if they go on to, if everything goes on ten and run, it's a Blazers fault. You know, I'm a big Blazer fan. You know, and I hardly put them down, but when they get those technicals and stuff. It's their fault, you know. They let those refs get tuned. The refs are going to call what they are going to call. You can't stop that. They just got to play through it. You know, they got the talent and they can win the championship. I think they just got to forget the ref. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, while we got you on the phone, you still there? Nope. Dang, we didn't get to ask them the questions. Uh, what, what, what are the questions the for question, tonight? The questions tonight. Uh, the first <laughs> one is: Will the Chicago Bulls three-peat? And by three-peat, obviously mean uh, meaning will they win their third straight championship? Uh, I say no. That's my vote. I don't think they're going to. They had, they played a very good game against Atlanta today, and they're up two games to nothing. But uh, they're gonna they're gonna run into some uh, stiff competition in the second and third rounds. They'll either go up against Charlotte or Boston in that uh, second round, and that's gonna be tough either way. If Char if Charlotte gets into the second round, it's gonna be tough. Right. <clears throat> I'd say the the Blazers are. Or I mean. Uh, that Chicago will not do a three-peat this year. Okay, so we um, got two no votes. I like to, I, I'd like to say uh, the Charlotte Hornets are going to win it. Ooh, we have a vote for Charlotte. Uh, right. right. I, I, I see them play the New York Knicks here, and uh, they're really oh, playing, Boston, or Boston. Boston, and they're really playing strong. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see Charlotte win it. It'd be interesting. We have another phone call. Go ahead, caller. Yes, as to answer to your uh, this week's question mark, uh, okay. I don't think the Bulls are going to three-peat this year. I think it's going to be the Knicks. The Knicks, all right. We've got to vote for the Knicks. My vote is for Portland. I think uh, with Clyde healthy again uh, and Phoenix, what about this? Phoenix is down uh, two games to nothing against the Lakers. I mean, if the Lakers bump them out, uh, is it going to be uh, easy pickings for uh, Portland to get into that uh, finals? No, I don't think so. I don't think Portland's going to beat the Lakers. The problem with Portland is that, um, you know, they relied so heavily on Clyde that when he's out, I mean, they struggle so bad that, you know, sure, Terry Porter steps up and Cliff Robinson, I mean, man, that guy's had some, some games that's just been out of this world, but point coming to 
is that, you know, Duckworth just hasn't stepped up and done what other, you know, centers like Shaq and Ewing and the other monster centers are doing. I mean, this guy's, you know, huffing and puffing down the court for his seven points a night, and the guy's been killing us for years. Yeah. Uh, well, I was reading the Oregonian last week, uh, last Sunday, in fact, and they talked, uh, they talked about the chances of the starting five on the Blazers, what the percentage was of each of those guys being traded. And when it came to Duckworth, uh, you're looking at about a 90% chance right. that he will be traded. At the really? I didn't see that. I didn't see that article. There, yeah, but, there was uh, a special uh, special uh, section in last Sunday's Oregonian on the on the NBA playoffs and stuff. Uh, and they were looking at the starting five of the Blazers and. Uh, right. Well, I'm a, I'm a pretty good Blazer fan, except that you know the front office kind of upsets me a little bit because you know they want you to support them as far as you know getting them a new place to play and. Um, all that kind of stuff, but you know, if you notice, every, each year when a playoff comes around, you support them all year by buying their hats and their shirts, and you know, if you can be one of the lucky lottery winners going to a game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, but when the playoffs roll around, you know, and the and the Blazers are playing on TNT, uh, you know, it sure would be nice if the front office paid back some of the uh, the nice things that everybody's done for them all year by letting them see one of the games, you know, yeah. because. I don't understand. The game's been sold out for 10 or 15 or however many years, yet they still have the blackout in, in effect, you know, and it's like Seattle, when they sell out a game, the instant that sells out, that blackout, you know, that blackout goes away. Yeah. Well, I, I think the reason that Portland does it, and it all, I mean, it all comes back to money, but I think the reason Portland does it uh, is because they have the smallest arena in the NBA, and, you know, their their revenue is, even though they've raised ticket prices. The revenue is mainly generated from ticket sales, but outside of that, it's cable. I mean, the cable package. Right, but the problem with cable yeah. packages, they're almost charging as much as it is to, you know, for a ticket to get into the game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, I can understand their, their reasoning with wanting to make money, but I think sometimes they go way overboard. I mean, last year, or was it the year before when they had the t-shirt scandal? I mean, um, boy, they sure made a hiney of themselves. Yeah, in, in, involving Rick Adelman's daughter. Yeah, I mean, uh, they sure made a hiney of themselves over that one. And you know, with the Rip City was restaurant, the, wasn't it? Yeah, and there was, yeah, the restaurant, the, and, cafe, the Rip City Cafe. Right. Yeah, I mean, they sure made hineys of themselves over that one. You know, if they wanted to get Portland fans behind the team, um, well, I, that, you know. That wasn't the way to do it. Yeah, Marshall, Marshall is not really showing his strong side. No, no, he really isn't. <laughs> so, but anyhow, that's what my comment was, and I think you have a real good show, Mark. I hope it goes over for you. All right. Hey, thanks for calling. Okay, bye-bye. Bye now. And uh, three nine seven five eight eight six is the phone number. We're asking, uh, do you think the Chicago Bulls will three-peat this year? Do you think they'll win their third NBA championship? Right now, we got three no votes, and uh, I think that's great because I really I don't think uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I don't you got me marked mark down for Portland, don't you? Uh, of okay. course, uh, I had course. that marked down before the game started. <laughs> before the, before show, the show started, started. game yeah. the same thing. Game show. Here for our it's next trivia show. question. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Anyway, three nine seven five eight eight six is the number. We're talking. Uh, we're talking NBA playoffs. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Phoenix being down two games to nothing against uh, the LA Lakers? Uh, we're talking about that a little bit. Uh, phone call. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, um, I'd like to say that the Blazers suck and the Lakers are going to take it. <laughs> Ooh, we have a vote for the Lakers. Ooh, I don't know about that. Do you think they can do it without the Magic? Without Magic out there? Yep, he's Obviously, gone. he's, he's gone. gone. Well, I, I take it that's, a, that's, that's a no vote, vote for, for the Chicago. Bulls anyway. Uh, yeah, the Blazers suck, huh? Well, we'll just see about that when they become the NBA champs, pal. In five years. Yeah. Uh, maybe this In year. In about a month. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the Blazers can do it this year. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to be able to pull it off. I think you were right. I think they were sandbagging and Clyde. And I, think I told you they were. I, th I think now that he's healthy, I think... Uh, San Antonio better beware, right? Because we'll we'll take at least one of the games down there, possibly both. If we're playing good, if Cliff Robinson put it this way, if Cliff Robinson gets out of a shooting slump, and Clyde stays healthy, watch out. Go ahead, caller. Um, no, I don't think the Bulls are gonna three peat because Michael Jordan's been too much of a baby about getting called fouls, and I think the Hornets are gonna take it. Charlotte, two votes for Charlotte. All right. Because I think they have strong underneath. Yeah, they got the quickness of Muggsy Bogues. Okay. Now, our second question, we have another question out there. We haven't had a chance to ask that yet on anybody. Uh, after game two between the Blazers and the Spurs, 
Do you think Clyde Drexler is back to full strength? Um, I don't think he is yet, but I think he's getting there. Okay. Not not quite full strength. So we have a no vote on that. But uh, what do you think about Phoenix uh, losing two straight to the Lakers right now? Um, I thought they were going to win them both, but looks like they're struggling with the Lakers. The Lakers, I think they're going to bump them off, but Portland <laughs> is going to bump off the Lakers and it's going to go into the finals against the Hornets. Portland will go against the Hornets? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I think if that happens, it's going to be a good series. I would, yeah, very I would love to see the Portland Trailblazers and the Charlotte Hornets go up. Or the, each other. Where the Lakers, they only have to win one more game. This is a five-game yeah, series. Yeah, it's a five-game <coughs> series. Um, Phoenix has their backs to the wall right now, down two games to nothing. Uh, they go back to L.A. for two games now. <laughs> All the pressure's on Phoenix. I don't think they can win three in a row. Uh, I don't think they're going to take three they, in a row. They, they can't do it. I well, see they, they can I do see it. They can do it. I mean, they uh, took they took uh, all five games in the series in the regular season against the Lakers this year. But uh, you get into the playoffs. I don't know. Once they once they get back to to Laker territory there, and uh, the the home court, you know, they have what a twenty thousand, twenty four thousand uh, yeah. people audience there. And once they see that their Lakers are winning, you know, they're going to get behind their Lakers yeah. and really stand behind them, cheer them on. I think Lakers Lakers as soon as they come back, Lakers are going to win it. So, Kevin Thornton predicting a sweep in that sweep. series. Ooh. I'm going to predict a sweep. Ooh, going. And I think, and I think, and I'll, I'll even go as far as to say, when they do come back to LA, that that uh, Phoenix is not even going to break a hundred. Ooh, I like this. I think, I think I like it's, like it's going to be that I like bad. This. I think it's going to be that bad. I, you know, you could be right. You could be, uh, you could be very right. It's a good possibility <laughs> the way the Lakers have played lately. So, 397-5886 is the phone number. We're asking, do you think the Chicago Bulls will three-peat this year? And if not, who do you think will win the NBA championship? That's our main question. That's our main topic of the night. Our second question is, uh, after the second game of the Blazers-Spurs uh, series, uh, do you think Clyde Drexler is at full strength? So, 397-5886 is the number to call if you want to talk uh, sports right now. We'll be here until uh, 7 o'clock. So call in, talk sports with us. Um, any, any other sports news that you've seen today? Any golf? Did you watch any golf? No. As a matter of fact, I didn't. Oh, I know. I ended up we, watching racing all about. day long. I know long. we can talk about What? Did you see what happened? Was it Monica Sellis? Oh, yeah. She got stabbed. Stabbed by a fan right. during a tournament, right. uh, during a break. Just because they wanted, just the fan said that, uh, that the reason he stabbed her yeah. Was because he wanted Steffi Graf to win it. Yeah, he was. A he wanted to knock. Steffi he Graf. wanted to knock her out so she couldn't continue against yeah. Steffi Graf. It's amazing what's happening in, in uh, tennis. I mean, tennis is such a laid-back sport. It is. I mean, <laughs> to watch. I mean, you're just going. Went to a, went to a fight and a tennis game broke out. Yeah. <coughs> went to a gang fight and I saw a tennis match. Right. That's like, like going, bring your own knives. That's, that's, right, that's like going to a hockey or uh, going to a fight and a hockey game breaks out. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, the phone has stopped ringing, Kev. I know what we can talk about to get the phone I think they ringing. took it off the hook up there. No, you know what? JJ's doing no, this on no, purpose. No, no, you no. Know, you know what we can talk about to get the phones ringing? We did it last week. Volunteers. We need volunteers. <laughs> oh, no. We talked about this last week, and every time I mentioned that we need volunteers, the phone rang. So I'm going to say it. We need volunteers. We need people down here to run cameras, floor direct, run the computer. Sit behind this desk like we're doing? Sit behind this desk like we're doing. Uh... Shoot sports, shoot news stories, um, everything. Oh, uh, babe, by the way, speaking of volunteers, yes, we have a new floor director tonight. Yes, we do. Holly Merrill. Holly Merrill is our new floor in. director tonight. And oh, we're going to get her on camera. All right. Everybody watch. Everybody watch as we get Holly Merrill, our new floor director, on camera. Come on, Holly, look at the camera. Holly, turn your head that way. Say Thank hi. Thank you. Say hi to the folks out there. Thank you. <laughs> Holly Merrill, our new floor director, ladies and gentlemen. And we were teasing her earlier. I was telling her she was going to sit back here. And she said, no, no, we're, I'm not yeah. going to be on camera, not also. So you, gotcha. So you got her on gotcha. camera. Good job. Right. All right. Anyway, 397-5886. Uh, call in, talk sports. We're talking about uh, the NBA playoffs right now. Uh, will the Bulls three-peat? I say no. Kevin says no. Uh, everybody that's called in has said no. And uh, so far, it's unanimous. That means everybody said no. Uh, I know JJ took the phone off the hook. I think he did. I think he did because he was probably going to talk about Walmart tonight. Anyway. 397-5886 <laughs> is our number. Call in. Have talk you forgotten about sports. The number? JJ, put the number on the screen. I think they forgot it. 
The phone Do is we have dead. a number? We have, I don't know. We have it up there somewhere. I don't know. I wonder if he can put it right here. Can we put our phone it. number right here? I JJ? doubt it. He's not that good. He can't do it. I don't know. He's probably talking to his girlfriend or something. Who yeah, knows? probably. Anyway, 397-5886, the number to call. Talk sports. You're making a sweat here because we have to come up with dialogue here, folks. Dialogue. jeez. Anyway, we'll run down uh, we'll run down the votes of uh, that we've got so far as to who's going to win the NBA championship this year since the Bulls are not going to. Oh, so they just said somebody called and then hung up. Oh. Please call back. Call back and don't hang up this time. If I have to to wrap up a half hour early, why? Uh, JJ wants more airtime. Yeah, <laughs> JJ wants to hog the air. That's why he's got the phone off the hook. He wants to hog all the airtime. Well, we're not going to stop it. So where's, where's the Macho Man Randy gonna, Savage? Yeah. Are you going to call in is tonight? Is the Macho Man out there? Is the Macho Man going to call in and talk to us tonight? That's the big. That should be the big question That's tonight. right. Will the Macho Man call? If we not, no idea. will Hulk Hogan call? If not? Well, if nobody calls in, I guess maybe we'll just do a half-hour show. Boy. Now, Wouldn't that be bad? Is, am, I, am I losing my following because of the song? We need help. Um, what? Well, let's run, let's run down the votes we've got so far on who's going to win uh, the NBA championship. I've got Charlotte with two votes. They're leading right now. New York has one vote. Uh, I have my vote in for Portland, and somebody called in and said the Blazers suck. Vote for Portland? Okay. Vote for two Portland. votes for Portland. Uh, what does our floor director say? Yes, you don't know nothing. Todd, what do you say? Who's going to win the NBA championship? Blazers. 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 All right. we got a three to two vote now. Well, somebody else, floor director. Say Charlotte. Oh, man. Portland. I can't get nobody to say Charlotte. 397-5886. Call in. What, are the phone lines down out there or what? Are we having a party are, somewhere are, tonight that we didn't know about? Yeah. Yeah, I want to know that, too. Is there a party that we were not invited to? Or? Oh, we have a phone call. Yes. And I Go hope, ahead, caller. Um, I think the Pacers are going to take it all the way. Pacers, all right. Indiana, Indiana Pacers. Good deal. Uh, what about Clyde? Do you think he's back to full strength? No, I think they should keep him out. Why? I don't know. He had 21 points yesterday, and he looked pretty good. Showed no visible signs of uh, the injury bothering him at all. I think that I think he makes the team play worse. How? They won by nine yesterday. They lost by one without him. Just because he forces up shots. Well, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I think I think speaking yeah. of, of shots, Terry Porter, in the fourth quarter, three three-pointers and missed every single time. I mean, he could not hit for nothing, and yet they kept giving him the ball, kept giving him the ball, and he just he just couldn't do it. I mean, finally, I think they ended up pulling him out of the game because they didn't want no more. Uh, well, I think they should play Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith? Reggie's yeah. a good player. Huh? I don't know what you guys said. Any. <laughs> I think Reggie Smith is the best they have. Oh, I don't know if he's the best. They, I well, don't, I don't. I can't he's agree. He's their best rookie, I think. Uh, he's too I, underrated. He's underrated, but I think Tracy Murray's better. Yeah. Mur Murray's a good player. Uh, kind of a ball hog. Well, they got a him, little bit. They got him to be a shooter, though. I mean, that's why they. That's why they brought him in was to be a shooter. Yeah. Off the bench because he can hit the threes. He can hit the outside jumper. Now, when you're talking about Clyde uh, slowing us down and, and taking those bad shots, let, if you want to talk bad shots, let's talk Cliff Robinson here, okay? He's not really slowing us down. Three, He's just lately taking three some bad 27. shots. Three for 27 in the first two games. That's pretty That's pretty poor shooting, if you ask me. I think uh, with Clyde having 21 points, I don't think you're talking I think they should have AC Green for next year. Say it, say it again? I think they should trade it, have, have AC Green for next year. AC uh, Green. AC Green from the Lakers. He is a good player. He is a homeboy. He is a Portland native. A homeboy. A homeboy. A homeboy. This is last year for the Lakers. I think so. I was reading that in the paper today, and uh, Byron Scott as well says he doesn't think he'll be in a Laker uniform next year. So. Yeah. Uh, Lakers kind of disbanding now. They're, uh, you know, Magic's gone and Kareem. Well, Kareem I gotta go. It's nice talking to you, Mark. All right. Thanks for calling. So we've got. Uh, Three votes for Portland now. Uh, All right. We, we got a vote for Indiana now. So, 
Uh, I figure by the time the show goes gets over with, uh, we might have a vote for each one of these teams to win the championship. Uh, we might. Possibility. Anyway, let's uh, let's show a couple more of these Shaquille O'Neal cards while we're waiting for more uh, phone calls. Um, we can get a close up on one of these <coughs> figures. We have a phone call. Go ahead, caller. Never mind about yeah, that. Kevin. Yeah. You're saying how uh, Terry Porter missed three three pointers in the last fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think he's still the best player on the team, even with or without Clyde, because. I mean, just look at his points when Clyde's been gone. Look what he's done for the team. I mean, he's kept him in the in the hunt for everything. Well, that's that's true. But what I was saying is he shouldn't have kept taking the chances. He shouldn't have kept shooting when he knew he, when he knew he was not making them right then. What about Cliff? Cliff does the exact same thing. Well, uh, Cliff. As far as as far as game one is concerned, uh, they should have had Cliff out of there at the end of the first half and put somebody like Reggie Smith or Joe Wolf or somebody in there to, to try and pick up the slack a little bit because uh, he was, what, 0 for 10? 0 for, 1 for 15 on the night. And I think uh, Cliff was the main reason we lost game one, I think. He had a chance He had a chance at the end to put in a couple free throws and missed them uh, that would have probably won us the game. If he, would have gone, if he would have gone 2 for 15, we would have won the game. You know, there's... I, I don't understand why Cliff is in a slump right now. He uh, he did so well. I mean, he was averaging almost 20 points a game in the regular season, and ever since then, he's just I don't know. He's gone way downhill. Um, do you think the uh, Do you think the Bulls are going to three peat? No, they're going to lose in the second round. Ooh, second round losers. Okay, who's going to win it then? Portland. All right. Portland. All right. Still can't get people to say Charlotte. Well, hey, I got two votes. Come on. Yeah, I got four though for Portland. Only because one vote was mine. Uh, uh, do you think Clyde's at full strength? Uh, I don't know. I think he's kind of old. Let's get rid of him. Okay. Well, whatever. I mean, you know, we have the opinion, so you know that's Clyde is old. No, he's not. He's uh, he's in his early thirties. I know. That's not old for an NBA player. That's not old. That's actually young. Yeah, I think I think he's getting wore out though. Three nine seven five eight eight six. Call and talk sports with us. Uh, our question of the week once again: Will the Bulls repeat? Uh, if not, who is going to win the NBA title? We have a phone call. The calls are starting to come in now. Go right. ahead, caller. Yeah, um, I got six friends over right now, and they're all voting for Charlotte. All right. We're all watching. We all think Charlotte's going to take it. So we got 12 votes saying the Bulls will not repeat. And we now have an 8-4 to four lead. Charlotte's, Charlotte's going to win the championship. I'm gloating now. You're gloating a lot of I am. Okay, we'll, we'll get Charlotte's to tough. Charlotte's yeah, a tough team. A tough team. Uh, do you think Clyde's at full strength now? No. Is this his last year? I don't think so. I, so think, I think he's getting a little too old for the NBA because all these new players like old. Shaq and them are coming and pushing everybody around. <laughs> he's too old fashioned for it. This is his first major injury. I mean, it's just a small minor setback. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to be a major one. Yeah. His knee along now with his hamstring. That, that hamstring thing, I think that was all made up. You know. Could have been. I, I think, I think he probably pulled it the first time. Yeah. And the second time they decided, hey, they're going to keep him out, you know, save him for the playoffs and see what well, happens. Well, the second time he did, it didn't really appear that he had had really done anything to hurt it. No, he didn't. He didn't. And the third time that they did that, he was just running down the court. He didn't really limp or anything. You know, no. It didn't look like he was re he was no. really hurt. So I was and you know, he went out with a smile on his face, like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I gotta go <clears> get the shower. <throat> no sign <laughs> autograph. I'm gonna go get my brand new car. No. Uh, Jerome Kersey. I'm going Jerome Kersey just home. bought a <laughs> Jerome Kersey just bought a uh, what Ferrari Testarossa. Oh, did he really? Yeah, yeah. He was in, he was in a, he was in a really deep depression because of the way he'd been playing and stuff. And he went out and bought a <laughs> brand new Ferrari <laughs> Testarossa. The poor guy. I think it set him back over. Gee, I'm I'm, I'm, depre I'm depressed. I think I'm gonna need, go buy a Ferrari. Yeah, let's go. No, Lamborghinis. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yeah, matching Lamborghinis. Right. Let's say sports wrap on the on the on the license plates. What do you think? Yeah, sports, sports wrap, wrap one, one and sports, sports wrap, wrap two. two. I like it. Uh, I me being number one, of course. Not. Two. Very good. <laughs> anyway, three nine seven five eight eight six is the number to call if you want to talk sports or uh, talk about 
Jerome Kersey's Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatever the heck he bought. I don't if you know. want to call and talk golf, that's hey, fine. that's good. We have a phone call. Go ahead, caller. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm sitting here at home. I have about 14 friends over. We're all voting for the Bulls. Oh, oh no. Every single Okay, time. we want you to prove that you have 14 friends over there. Let's hear them. They're, they're upstairs. All right, we want to hear them all scream. I had something. to go downstairs where it was quiet to call. Couldn't hear myself. Okay. Yeah, we'll give it to him. I'm not. I don't believe him. I don't. I don't think he's got 14 so friends. <laughs> Come on, man. Why, We're you know <laughs> no, I didn't mean that the way I said. I don't think you have 14 friends at your house. Watching yeah, my do. show. Right. Our show. I get so used to saying my show. Right. Our probably show. Probably because I created. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, okay. you think, do you think Clyde's healthy? Do you think he's at 100? Um, percent I don't know. I think he's about 75 percent operational, functional, whatever you want to call it right now. Okay. Makes him sound like a robot. Well, he's 75 percent functional. Anyway, so we got, uh, geez, 14 votes for the Bulls to win it. I don't think they're going to do it, but I mean that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, they can take it. Think so? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. They're just they're getting old. It's like get, Clyde. It's get well. It's getting old. <laughs> it's getting old watching watching the Bulls win championships. You know. Well, I'd like to see a different team. Each I'd, year I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen in the second round. They're going to have to go against Charlotte in the second round, and the combination of Kendall Gill, Del Curry, Larry Johnson, and Alonzo Mourning are just going to kick butt all over who's the that, Chicago who's Bulls. Who's that little guy they got? Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues. You know that guy. Five that guy guys can right play. There are gonna just that guy. You know, he, I was watching. I was watching Charlotte the other day, and Muggsy Bogues was on there. And it, it looked like this, just this little midget out there playing until I saw him jam it. Yeah. And I was like, five whoa, foot three. you know. He's five foot three. And he's five foot three, and he's good. I don't Is that a table crooked? You got a booger in your nose or something? The table's crooked? Is that what you're saying? Other way. The corner? <laughs> now we're worrying about our, uh, our desk. How's that? That looked 397-5886 is our number. We're going to go until 7, regardless of what JJ says. Our, our hey, table may, call. Our yes, table may fall not. apart, but right we're going to keep going. Ooh, I hope not. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Mark. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen your show, man. How, how you been doing lately? Good. Real good. I'm loving it. Uh, how do you think, uh, wh what do you think is going to happen to the Bulls? Well, it's not going to be the Bulls. I'll tell you that right now. What's that? It's not going to be the Bulls. I'll tell you that right now. Good. Who's it going to be? I'm thinking maybe uh, Phoenix. Phoenix? They're down 2 nothing against the Lakers. Hey, hey. I'm going out on a limb on this one. Okay. I thought I was going out on a limb saying Portland. Oh, I That's thought I was going on a limb saying Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. And uh, I can tell you, you know that last guy who called and 14 friends? Yeah. I can tell you he was pulling your leg so you can erase 13 of those votes because I know who that is, man. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know it wasn't the Macho Man, because he hasn't called yet. I'm really bummed. Oh, the Macho Man. I heard you got some good calls from him. Hey, yeah. man, he's he's a big fan. He's a really big fan. We got God to call in the other night. A dog? God. But not a dog. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. About that. <laughs> As I wish I would have seen that one. Yeah, you missed that one, buddy. When, when, that, when was you were, that was two weeks ago. When do you show the reruns? He, well, he like, might call tonight, I, I understand. Like, when when can I see the reruns? Um, throughout the week? Probably next when next Wednesday and then next Friday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday at, at six. 6. I'm being told from the, the man All right. upstairs. That's great. How did you do with that card show a few weeks back? Uh, did pretty good. I got a bunch of Shaquille O'Neal cards. In fact, I got some of them with me that I want to... We'll see if we can get on the air here. There's one that, I, that you can only get in the Upper Deck uh, All-Star uh, set. And that's uh, the one in my left hand here. This one here. And this one is valued at twenty-five dollars, and I ended up picking that one up for about fifteen. So that's money in the bank, right there. Yeah, definitely. This Fleer Ultra, that one's going to be, that one's going to be a hot one, right there. Um, I got his McDonald's. Well, we'll get that one. Keep that, keep that there, JJ. Keep that there. <laughs> I got his McDonald's uh, card that Upper Deck's putting out. Uh, I bought that for about five and a half bucks. It's worth around ten. Good one there. Um, I got uh, three Shaquille cards for ten bucks. That's pretty impressive. 
Yeah, I mean the guy. Sounds like wanted, he scored big time, huh? The, the guy wanted to get rid of them. I don't know, you know. They were like they each had eight dollar price tags on them, and I knew they were all worth that much. And he he sold three of them to me for ten bucks. I said, I'll take them. No, I think they're all counterfeit. Yeah, they could be. I don't know, but I'll Probably try to make sell them, them worth even more then. Anyway. I saw you uh, a couple weeks back, maybe a month ago, at Incredible Universe watching those Blazer girls. I was there, man. I, I saw you. I admit it. I was there watching the Blazer dancers. Did you get some autographs? Yeah. <laughs> I got all five of their autographs on a picture. Ditto. Yeah. I missed some it. Awesome, some awesome babes. All, actually, there's 14 of them. They only had five of them there. They're pretty good dancers, too. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> I was watching other things. Uh, I was drooling, as uh, one of my camera people said. They kept asking him to move out of the way so they could uh, mop up the drool spots beneath him. Uh, can I ask? Actually, they, they kicked me off the stage <coughs> twice. No. I, tr I tried attacking a couple of them, and they kicked me off the stage. So. Somebody finally explained to Mark that it wasn't football. Yeah. Uh, to answer your second question about Clyde, okay. I'm going to have to say he's, he's not going to kick in until next season. You don't think he's... No, he's, uh, I, th I think he's, he's, he's going to have the summer to recuperate, you know? Yeah, I think you might be right. I think he may have to do that. Where'd my pen go? I dropped my pen, you guys. I'll be back after this 60-second timeout. Here. Move it, Kevin. Give it to Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. Hey, it's me. Kevin's the man. This is Kevin's show for about 10 seconds. Welcome to my show. Uh, this is... Hey, uh, I'm back. Okay. Kevin. Took care of that. Kevin, why are you so much better dressed right now than... Uh, Mark, I gotta ask you. Because I'm better than he is. <laughs> yeah, right. Is I keep telling him he, he needs because, to wear a suit and he never does. Because it's so hot under these lights, yeah. I don't want to wear a suit. I sweat real easily. Let's put it that way. I sweat so easily. I'm sweating right now. No, I don't do that. Hello. It's, it's, in fact, I, I really hope that this table doesn't collapse because I'd hate to, I'd hate to see the, I hate you, for you folks to see the sight of, of what's underneath this table right now. <clears throat> It's very disgusting. <laughs> of course, I'm referring to Kevin. No. <laughs> hey, I have pants on. All right, so I don't. Mark's doing the show uh, completely in his underwear tonight. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah, those cute little red ones. <laughs> with the hearts and flowers. Three nine seven five eight eight six. Those, those white boxer shorts with the X's and O's. Right. Right. Not. Because I, I love I blazer men. Not. <laughs> so I love blazer dancers. Anyway, we've got about 20 minutes left, and the number is 397-5886. Somebody obviously knows that because we have a phone call. Thank you very much. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. This is Chris from Columbia City. Who? Chris. Chris. Okay. Uh, Finally, I, we've had somebody actually identify themselves. I didn't hear the questions. Was there a question this week? Yes. Uh, will the Chicago Bulls three-peat? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. And since you answered no, uh, who do you think will win the NBA title? Oh. Uh, Seattle, I think. Charlotte. Seattle. A vote for Seattle, folks. They actually have one vote for for uh, Chicago. Uh, some guy called in and said he had 14, 14 of his closest buddies. I there. asked him to prove it. He yeah, we be. asked him to take the phone up there and prove that he had 14 of his buddies there. He wouldn't do it, so we had to erase 13 of the votes, and they only have one vote. So right now, it's a 14 to 1 vote against uh, Blazers 3. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I want to know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can somebody let me in on the joke, please? <laughs> One of my buttons on that? I think it's a booger on the end of your nose. Well, that could be it. That could be it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got about uh, 18 minutes left, thank God. And hopefully he'll call in. Where in the heck is Macho Man? I want the Macho Man to call in tonight. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to hunt him down and I'm going to beat the crap out of him. His caller is still there. Nope. What are we doing? I don't know. Yeah. We might be calling the Macho Man from here. Okay. What? Anyway. What? Just a second. Anyway. Uh, 397 is the number to call. Talk sports, because we're here. This is Sports Wrap. That's why we're here. Talk sports. Phone call. Go ahead, caller. Hello. I don't know. 
There's a caller there. Are you there? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's on. Go ahead. He's on. Hello? Put him down. Hello? Uh, apparently we don't have anybody there. We have someone there. We're having, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Right. Technical. I always, wa I always wanted to say that on TV. Oh, the guy has his TV up. Please turn your TV set up. What am I telling him this for if he's got his TV off? He's not going to be able to hear me. Obviously. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Mark's, Mark uh, is really... Kevin is now going to tap dance on the table. Okay, uh, please watch your television sets. Watch us now, please. We're dying out Call here. in and talk to us. 397-5886. Three three nine seven five eight 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 six. And we'll be back yep. after this 60-second timeout. No. We have a phone call. Hey, go ahead, caller. Hey, Mark, this is Chuck from St. Helens. I called in earlier. Uh -huh. um, something else I was going to bring up, too, that kind of missed me a little bit is, you know, the polls that you read in the Oregonian every week on the, you know, the high school stuff for the sports, you know, is how you top ten rankings? Right. Um, boy, I don't know who's mad at St. Helens, but it seems like, you know, we can't ever give above fifth in anything. I mean, you could win all your games except one, but you're still ranked sixth, and here's teams with four and five losses ahead of yeah. you, ranked number one and two, you know. And, and, uh, I've noticed that. You know, in football, when we kind of did that, you know, we went all the way through kicking butt on everybody and anybody, um, and every week you'd win a game, they'd move you down the rankings. Well, you know what killed us for the football, and I noticed this, we started out, I think, number two in the rankings Right. Uh, at the beginning of the season before the, any games. The preseason poll had us at second behind, uh, I believe, Hood River Valley. And the first game, we lost a non-league game. It moved us down to about fifth or sixth. Right. We lost the second game to, to Dallas, and we were out of the top ten. Yeah, we were also ran. <laughs> you know, and we and we never we never saw the top ten again. Exactly. Even though we even though we only lost like one more game after that. Right. Even and, now we, that, and even now that we're the champions, we're still ranked what number three. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, same thing happened in basketball. I mean, you know, we were winning some some serious games. You know, three and four in a row, and not only were we not moving up, we were barely lucky to stay there or moving back down. Yeah. And now the same things in baseball. You know, we've. We've only lost, what, two two of the last four games or two of the last five? Mm -hmm. And we keep moving down. You know, we beat the team that's in front of us, Scapoose, and nothing personal. But, I mean, uh, um, you know, you beat the team that's ahead of you, it ought to tell you that you need to be in front of them. But yet, mm -hmm. you know, they're staying there, and we're going back down in the rankings. I mean, I don't know who's got it in for us, but uh, somebody I'll, does. I'll tell you who, who it is. It's the OSAA. They don't like St. Helens. <laughs> uh, look, I mean, after the... After, I mean, even after the regular season in football, uh, we had lost only one game. Right. Uh, I think, in fact, I think we were, yeah, we lost one league game. Right. And. That was Seaside, wasn't it? Yeah, down in Seaside. Right. We won the rest of our league games. And when it came time to pick the All-State teams. Right. We got we, skunked. We got skunked. I mean, we win the championship. Not only that, we stopped. The, for the yeah. championship. I mean, we went through, we went over to the snow in Baker. We went to, you know, wherever it had to be. We were, to yeah. You know, and you go down to, uh, to, uh, Corvallis. Yeah, Corvallis. And, uh, you know, you not only just win the championship, you dominate the other team so bad it makes them look sad. Yeah. Yeah, when it, like you say, when it comes for all stars, you know, they pick guys who didn't even, whose we're teams didn't even get past the first round. Yeah, who weren't even in the championship. Yeah I, yeah, I don't understand. I think they ought to choose the all state teams after that championship game. I mean, it doesn't I agree. make any sense. I agree. But like I say, you know, I don't know who it is, but somebody's got it in for St. Helens, I can yeah. tell you that. There's, there's somebody down at the OSA that does not like St. Helens. Right. Okay, thanks, Mark. All right, thanks bye for bye. calling. Bye now. All right. Yeah, the caller's gone. The phone's ringing again. Anyway, 397-5886 is the number. Hopefully the Macho Man will call in before the show is over. Maybe that's it, you know. Maybe he's calling now. I don't know. Well, I, I'm, so. I'm getting this this psychic reading. Uh, there, I, I we have a phone call. Oh, Go ahead, caller. Yeah, I just want to say, um, hi, Eric. Okay, hello to Eric, uh, whoever you are. Hi, Eric. How you hi, doing? Eric. Good to see you. Anyway, um, <laughs> pardon me. Um, three nine seven five eight eight six is the number to call. Uh, if you get a busy signal, hang up, tr keep trying. Or, or or just wait and listen on TV until the caller hangs up and then call. 
hit that speed dial button. Right. Because we know you've got one. We know you do. We've seen your telephone. We, we know, know you. you're out there. <laughs> we, I know you're out there. I can hear you breathing. Anyway. 397-5886. We're having a good old time. Are we? Yes, we are. We have eight votes for the Charlotte Hornets to win the championship this year. We have four votes for the Portland Trailblazers to win the uh, championship. And uh, after but that, all but one person that called in said that uh, Chicago will not three-peat. So, I don't know. It's, uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, playoffs from here on out. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I think Phoenix is out in the first round now. I don't think uh, any, there's I no don't way Phoenix can win it. There, there. I mean, there's always a way. I mean, there's always a chance, but it's real slim. Ah, uh, they're not going to do it. I mean, the, the they, may are, win, the they may win. They may win one more. They may win one more. The odds are about one. A, I should yeah, say. Yeah, one. Yeah. But uh, I think the odds are about a billion to one that the, that the Suns are going to go anywhere. Right. So that's just my feeling, though. You know, I think that's probably your feeling too. But that's probably the feeling of everybody in this dang studio. Anyway, 397-5886 is the number. Call in, talk sports. We've got about uh, anywhere between 10 and uh, 12 minutes left before uh, J.J. Wright comes on at 7 o'clock with uh, Community Live. Uh, I'm not sure what his topic is tonight, but uh, it's probably going to be Walmart so we can get some phone calls. Right. More phone calls than we're getting anyways. <laughs> yeah, somebody is, please call please us. Please call in. I, we have here, to we go. here we go. Here we go. We need volunteers. <laughs> I know that's going to get people to call. <laughs> it should. It should because it worked last week. We did. We had right. a good response when I said we need volunteers. You know, we need people to run cameras and do sports out in the field and and sit up here behind this right. wonderful, beautiful desk. You know, I started out. Place. I started out behind the camera. Yeah. Here, Kevin started out behind the camera. And now look, he where moved I'm up at. to uh, to a I'm commentator, right. a sports Not commentator. Ready to take Mark's show over? Not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I well, we, think I think so. we almost had a phone we call. We almost had a phone call, but I think it went away. 397-5886. is the number. Call, call in, talk to us. We really want to talk to you. We really do. And if you don't call us, we're going to get out the phone book and we're going to start calling you. Hey, you know, I think we ought That's to do that. We, I think we should we Bring should the do phone that. in here. <clears throat> we're going to call people. Bring us a phone. Idea. Bring us a phone and a phone book. We'll start at the A's. And we're <laughs> that worked. Right. <laughs> they don't want us calling them. Go ahead, call her. I don't think that the Bulls are going to three-peat this shit. Okay, who's going to win it? The Hornets. Hornets. All right. Man, lots of votes for My the Hornets. My team. Lots of votes for the Hornets. Uh, Hornets are tough. Is, is Clyde at full strength? Turn down a little bit. Do you think? Turn it down. Uh, and I don't think Clyde's back at full strength either. I don't think he will be till next season. Okay. You think they should rest him throughout the playoffs? Not rest him, but Just rest him some more, but... Not play, totally. play him sparingly. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good idea. I think. I think that uh, play back his minutes a little bit. Uh, you know, move him back a little bit. Not play quite as much. Maybe give him about 20 minutes a game. That's what five about five Said minutes. Said bench him. No, no, no. You know, we prove we know. can win without him. Yeah, but we also prove that we can lose without him. Hey, that's so, right. We can. So I would rather have him in there at the. At the end of a game when it's really close, and have him take that final shot, because chances are he's gonna he's gonna be the one to win you that game. I know. I said we give it to Porter to let him take the final shot. Well, I say we give it to Cliff Robinson. There we go. Not anyway. Terry Porter. Terry Porter. <coughs> Terry Porter does all right. Rod Strickland. Uh, I think the caller has gone away. Yep. Caller, did you leave us? Caller has the caller has left the building. <laughs> hey, oh. but we got another one to replace right. it. Go ahead, caller. Blazers all the way, baby. All right. Blazers all the way, baby. So Did our six, caller seven, leave us? 8, 19, 15, 19, 10, 15, 16, 17. 397-5886 is our number. Give us a call. Talk sports. That's right. Talk about, actually, we don't have to talk about sports. We'll talk about anything you want to talk about. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Mark. This yeah. is Chris again. Yeah, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, doing good. How do you think Brian's doing this year? What do you think of him? Mark Bryant, Mark Bryant, he's he's doing all right, but he just, I don't know, we haven't seen a whole lot of him this year. I mean, we've seen more of him this year because Clyde's been injured and uh, Kersey's been out. Uh, I think he's picked it up. He's he's picked up his game a little bit, and he's proven that he can he can play tough against David Robinson of the Spurs. Yeah. Uh, he's he's contained him really well in the first couple of games, and uh, between him and Buck, uh, they've really done a good good job on David Robinson and kept him down to a minimum. 
also. D Duck has a new Mark Johnson haircut, though. Duck has a new Mark Johnson haircut. A little well, shorter. That, <clears throat> that ought to uh, really help him out. Not. Well, you know, Duck was, was actually playing halfway decent uh, in yesterday. this last game. Yeah. yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday's game, he did it all right. Like he, he, he looks made like some he good cut defense. off the Twinkies a little bit. Cut back on them a little what, bit, I think. Cut, cut back on them. Two Twinkies a day. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and... Uh, Cut about half of his house in half. Yeah. yeah. That would do it. Jeez. I'd like to I'd like <laughs> to just have his garage as as the size of a house. You know, Mark and I Mark and I drove up by up to his house here he uh, was it, here a few weeks ago. Yeah. And that house is just immaculate. Yeah. That was the first time you'd I wonder if he gets blazer cable. <laughs> I wonder if he pays he for should, it. He should he should sit home and watch the games. I think he'd right. probably do a lot better. But right. uh, anyway. Uh, any other comments you want to make? No, nope, that's it. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Good night. Uh, right now, the votes are nine votes for Charlotte to win the championship, five for Portland. So who knows? Maybe we'll see those two teams in the finals this year. I think it would be an, a very interesting matchup between those two teams. It should be. Uh, Larry Johnson against Buck Williams and uh, Clyde little, uh, Drexler against... What's, what's uh, the little guy's name again? Um, Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues against Clyde Terry, Drexler. Uh, Terry Porter. Okay, Ter Terry, Terry Porter. Terry uh, I think Clyde would probably end up going against uh, Kendall Gill. Yeah, Kendall uh, Gill's really good. He's he's hot. I mean, he's going to be a really hot uh, hot property in the NBA for the next couple of years. So. What about what about uh, Magic, Orlando, Orlando Magic. Magic? How are they doing? They they missed the playoffs. They missed the playoffs. Indiana Indiana got the final playoff spot in the East, uh, even though Indiana and Orlando had identical records. Uh, Indiana, I mean, they both had identical conference records, identical uh, home and away uh, records. You know, I don't understand why Indiana got to go when Orlando didn't. I mean, they both had identical records and everything. I think they should have made them play one playoff, you know, one tiebreaker game to see which team went to yeah. the playoffs. Uh, I think it probably would have been the Orlando Magic. I think you'd see, yeah, I think you'd see Orlando going up against. Uh, New York right now instead mm -hmm. of Indiana, and I think Orlando could have given them a run for their money uh, with Shaq. I think Shaq could have really uh, helped Orlando to at least, if not defeat uh, New York, at least taken the five games right. uh, in that series. Right. Uh, I think Indiana probably does not have a prayer. Uh, I'm being told to wrap it up so J.J. Uh, Wright can get down here and get ready for his show, the final votes tonight. Uh, <coughs> Eight votes for Charlotte, five for uh, Portland, one each for Phoenix, the Lakers, New York, Indiana, and Chicago. Oh, and one for Seattle. Can't forget the Seattle one. People, people. Charlotte, like Charlotte coming out on Charlotte top. Charlotte came out on top. I'm really surprised. Uh, the the final poll on the will the Chicago Bulls uh, three peak. Uh, I come up with 18 no votes and one yes vote. So right. Go go anybody but the Bulls. Well, I'd, I'd, like I said, I'd really like to see uh, Chicago or uh, Charlotte Hornets win it. I mean, they're underdogs. Underdogs, yeah. By I'd like to shot. see them take it. Shot. Right. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap up this uh, edition of Sports Wrap. We'd like to thank uh, everybody that called in and gave their uh, answers to our questions this week. And commented and uh, we'll see you next week we'll talk a little bit more about the NBA playoffs uh, by then uh, some of the first round series will be over and they'll be going into the second round we'll talk about uh, some of the matchups in that uh, in that uh, second round the semifinals of the uh, conference also we'd like to remind everybody please don't drink and drive and just right. say no and we'll be back after, after this 60 second timeout good night everybody, everybody. Oh,